Hey, so chances are you've got an excellent video camera in your pocket or right next to you. Your cell phone, the cameras that, that are on, or the video cameras that are on our cell phones are just outstanding. Have image stabilization and all kinds of excellent stuff. The, the, even the, the microphones are getting better. So we have great tools and there's this, I'm gonna be sharing with you how you can create really neat videos, even broadcast level videos now. And one of the things that I'll be talking about is using gimbals because that is really uh, where you can just take it to that the highest professional level and pretty much make your iPhone co competitive with the kind of camera that you you know you see the pros out there you know for with TV stations using. Now granted the video would be that the audio is another matter. You, you'd need to have a microphone like they do also. Getting good shots, professional looking shots is actually feasible with our cell phones. And so we can pull together neat videos. I'm gonna show you some samples. I'm gonna show you one that Carvel Avis, uh, the programmer of Kinetic Text Animator, he threw together this video. It's a lot of fun. I just wanna give you a few samples and a few tips on how to really take advantage of this. This is gonna be a little bit longer of a video than I usually do, but there's a lot of value in here. I hope you make it through to the end so that you can utilize this uh, yourself. So let's first, let's take a look at you know, this short, it's about 30 sec seconds. So I'll, I'll start it and I'll make it bigger. This is Carvel's grandson. <laughs> good thing those guys have good reactions. So this kid can run, huh? <laughs> awesome. Brody can play. <laughs> Very fun, Carvel. So one, I don't know if you noticed this, but one of the cool things about that video is Carvel has the audio, not only he's got the music, but he's got the audio from there. So it's not just the video, it's also the audio. And that's something that is newly reported in Kinetic Text Animator as a version 1.09. We have here on the videos layer, we have an audio level so you can import your audio, I'm sorry, your video with audio, which is great, a lot of fun. So uh, Carvel's idea inspired mine. I have sort of a collection, if you will, of sunsets. I like to paddleboard. And here in Texas, it's very hot. And so it's one of the better times in the day, especially in the summertime is to go out in the evening. And so I like to do that and uh, catch a sunset if I can. So I threw together a video of with my sunsets and I'm just gonna play just a, a little bit of it here. And I'm gonna just talk about how I put this together and give you some tips on things that you can do with your own videos. But let's just take a look first at, at this, just to give you a little bit of an idea of what I threw together here. Now this is a two minute video, so I don't want you to um, have to sit through all of it. You, if you wanna check it out in full, I post it on the Facebook group and I will also post it on our YouTube group. But I'll just kind of jump ahead here and just to, because I wanna make a few points about uh, contrast and so forth. So let's go ahead and just, uh, just gonna do a little bit more segment here. All right, so gives you an idea of my little video here. And what I wanted to share with you, first of all, is now on your cell phone, I, what I could do, and, and most people can too, is I can take, I, most of these shots were 30 to 40 seconds, somewhere up to a minute. There's a lot of times I'm just, I'm looking at it myself and really just, taking it in and just forgetting almost that I'm shooting a video. And so I, what I did on my phone was I trimmed it down to about 10 seconds. And then I used iCloud. Um, now, a lot of people have Google Drive if you're on an Android. You can email it to yourself. Usually it would use that if you, uh, some sort of external drive. Uh, see, on a Macintosh, I can use AirDrop. There's probably other ways to get it off of your phone too. The Google Drive and iCloud are two things available to the Android and to the iPhone respectively. There should be an easy way for you to get these videos off of your phone and onto your computer and into Kinetic Text Animator to do the sort of thing that Carvel and I just demonstrated. So when I did mine, I threw in the audio first. I found a, an audio track. I did a vi video on that, a tutorial on how, to, how I find my audio, so you can check that out. 
the uh, in, on our YouTube channel, or uh, I'll put it in the tutorial section too. After I put that in, that, that told me how long my my uh, video was going to be because um, I, I like to end it where the song ends if, as, as naturally as I can. So then I put in my video. So I just I just took a bunch of shots. I have a lot more than these, and so I just put them in, and I did them roughly sequentially. I, I did remove some, and what I was going for, something that kind of I can point out here is you want to, on uh, something like this, whenever you can, um, I, like, I was trying to do standard kind of video techniques, which is contrast. And so I wanted to have this one be different so that the waves are, the colors are different, you know, and so forth. And so this is more placid and it's a slightly different angle. And so I'm looking for just changing it up like that and just more color in this one. And so as I'm going just to maintain visual interest. So whenever you have something like that, you know, try to pull that off. And I'm, I, this one is very different from the previous one. Uh, the clouds and, and whatnot, the colors, well, the colors tend to be pretty similar. And then since I had done a couple like that, I was I went from the shore here and uh, the waves are really, really wavy. I tried to go out on this one, but uh, the waves were so high, it pushed me right back to shore. So <laughs> tossed me around like a rag doll. So that, that night, it had to be from shore. But anyways, as I went, I did try to, like I said, tried to mix it up and everything. Also, now another kind of neat thing that I wanted to point out was I used the available space. Like down here, it's darker. So I was able to put the text down here, of course, using the grid feature. I, I had it, you know, I, I, I told it to go in that area. And I tried to also mix things up where I put the dates. So each time I showed the date, I would move it around in different spots to just, again, kind of keep it interesting. You see here, I'm kind of going in a circle. And at the same time, I'm using areas, I'm, I'm, I'm moving things around so you don't expect that to be in the same spot all the time. It just creates some visual interest and makes things uh, more fun and interesting and uh, contrast and so forth. And so just a, a few tips like that. Now, when your, your background doesn't really allow for that to happen, you might want to take advantage of the crazy boxes, the bullet boxes, codex swing or magnetic message because they all create a box and allow for the, the, there to be the contrast so you, you, don't, you don't have to worry about whether or not they can read it. A lot of us, in fact, the crazy boxes and bullet boxes are inspired by these kinds of effects that are used in typical uh, newscasts and things like that. So y if you use these, you you may start to feel like, oh, you know, it, it looks feels very professional because the pros use that effect. That's the sort of thing that you can do very quickly and easily. Most of the time that I took on this video was basically trimming the videos and sending it to myself uh, via iCloud and then actually doing the animation, importing them in and uh, doing these text animations. I don't know, it maybe took an hour, maybe a little bit longer, not very long though. And so it really kind of made it fun. You know, this is a sort of project I wouldn't have taken on if I couldn't have done it that fast. So I'm, not, I'm not making any money, it's just a little fun thing to do, just to share. And, but this is the sort of thing that can be done so easily that you can share and do it in your with your videos that you created on your cell phone as well. So I wanna go back to talking about the gimbal. I'll finish by talking about that. Now, what a gimbal does is it stabilizes. It, even though your phone probably has a stabilizer, especially if it's recent, this is gonna kinda take it to the final edge. You know, you're gonna be able to run and and things like that and really kind of like on my paddleboard the waves are I can't control them that some of the shots that I have in this video are especially this kind of I have one kind of here I think and I you know I, I couldn't stabilize that if I but if I had the gimbal I could have it would have been probably near or absolutely perfect because it's going to it take the gimbal kind of stabilizes things automatically that's what you know the pros have it really t it tends to be what distinguishes a pro camera from a not pro camera is the sta image stabilization and the, the microphone for the audio in this case i just took the audio out because it was every once in a while the wind and all that kind of stuff it just there was nothing really as charming as carvel's where he, you could hear the crowd and all that kind of stuff and so i just uh, zeroed out the audio in mine I just use the music instead so you can do whatever uh, makes sense for your video pardon me there's <laughs> there's my reminder oh i did want to talk about some of the text effects too by the way uh, just a few quick tip in this case 
I mostly use the Nothing Fancy and the Pepper Blast. And uh, the Pepper Blast, I just kind of wanted to, as I was making this video, I wanted you to start to get a sense of, oh, this is, you know, get, yeah. by the time I say this is a collection of sunsets, you got it, you already know. But this, this is part of what kind of helps you to understand that I was going out and doing that. So I, I but I just wanted to kind of just trickle them in, boop, 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 you know, a little bit at a time. So they were just kind of subconscious backup to the, the main message there. And it, that uh, creates interest. When uh, you noticed in Carvel's video, he used kind of the glitch pitch when it was like awesome, you know, and things like that. Each of these text effects can have an actual use that, that supports what you're doing in your videos. In my case, the video is so strong. The sunset is, is these are amazing sunset shots and everyone you know, is beautiful and water and it's just great. So I don't wanna really kind of call attention to the text more than sort of a sublime fade in and out. But there's times when the glitch pitch, for example, is great when you're trying to go, you know, something, wow, you know, or stop that or whatever, right? Things like crazy boxes, bullet boxes, magnetic message and codex swing are great when you can't really get any contrast for the text to be read and so forth. And so these, uh, you can start to look at some of these text animations for purpose. Uh, how do they uh, augment your message? How do they go with what you're trying to get across in your videos? Like the dimensional jolt in one of the uh, videos that I did recently, you know, I kind of had like someone spreading their shirt like Superman and showing the thing and, and it really came off like, da, 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 you know, and so each of these text animations have a personality that you can, that may fit better with your home videos or your professional videos. And so uh, do try to take advantage of that. That's one reason why we have this variety is so that, you know, situationally, they can potentially fit better with your video. I hope you got some value out of this and I hope it inspires you to make new videos. Uh, Carvel and I really look forward to seeing what you come up with in Kinetic Text Animator. And I hope you have a lot of fun doing it.